In what may be the hottest year in history, scientists have recorded radical changes to the permafrost in Antarctica. The Pandora virus, a so-called giant virus with the largest genome size ever recorded. The crabs also display increased aggression, even towards larger predators. A striking new weather anomaly has claimed many coastlines around the world. NASA is examining these clouds to figure out... We've detected large amounts of an organic composite. So far, the sample doesn't match any of the DNA records we've compared it with. We all saw it. Those creatures coming out of the sea on that oil rig. The president has declared a national emergency... It's obvious that what we're dealing with here is a biological weapon. As of today, we are at war. It's taking their minds. I saw them walk right into the sea. Thousands of people. Thousands. The mist is gone, but the city is dead. The roads are broken. You must join one of the havens. Do not attempt to survive on your own. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The Second War to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries, even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose, New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Already there. Here I am, let's do this. Come get some. Tango spot. What we Let's can do. do this. Here 
here they are. Nothing's getting past me. They're not getting past me. Show them what we can do. That hurts. Ah, didn't it? Bad. I'm ready. Aiming. Kill confirmed. I'm prepared. Moving fast. Ready. I'm on the move. What's our move? I'll keep my eyes open. Here, moving. Ready, willing, and able. Yeah, let's do this. position like the wind <laughs> just a bit off what's our move I'm prepared there. I had always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. 
It seems to be the defining pattern of your history. Fall, then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers ourselves easily enough. But I needed you to see, to understand that far more is at stake here than just our ecosystem or our genetic purity. We are being robbed of what makes us human, our will. I fear neither the Utopians at Sinedrian nor those Anu fanatics really understand that. If you can recognize the real nature of the threat, perhaps we can work together on stopping it. Research complete. New Jericho was one man's vision, and everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire, an elusive, controversial businessman who denounced war even as he profited from it. When the world fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting to preserve the core of human freedom our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful of infection and obsessed with purity. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies. New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. Quick. Moving fast. My turn. Born again, anarchist. No mercy. <gasps> 
bad luck. Preparing to fire. Active. My name is Athena, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is, we are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai. Stas tries to keep everyone calm. Every haven has a totally different set of priorities. And then something like this happens. I'm being honest about our flaws because I think crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common, and here's your payment. We believe in people being rewarded for their labor. You're welcome. I hope we can work together again. Research 
complete. Right there. I'm ready. I see them. Moving out. Target missed. cover. Ah, oh, that was easy. Our move. Moving. Preparing to fire. I get them. Holding. 
position. Repositioning. Hope this works. Self exposed. This better work. I'm, uh, I'm getting there. Yeah. to ten. Three. Right there. Ah, oh, that was easy. I'll stay behind. Timing. What are we doing? Have to focus. <clears throat> this better work. Focus. That was a kill, probably. <clears throat> it worked. Target hit. Uh. Right there. That's it. I'm dead out. Hope I can find cover. to engage. Here, aiming. 
Ready to engage. Kill confirmed. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm gonna break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. If you want to work with us, you'll still have to deal with the hierarchy. Work your way up from the Apostle to the Onceborn, to the Keeper of the Threshold, all the way up to the Synod of Yearning and the Exalted herself. That's hard work. You'll have to earn the knowledge you gain. But trust me, it'll be worth it. And if the Synod gives you trouble, let me know. <laughs>